Dang, I need to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> All that bouncing in my head. All that jazzer sign. That's Walther. Walther is the oldest living redwood in the forest. Uh, back in 1906, the earthquake that pretty much wiped out San Francisco. Uh, they needed to rebuild, so in order to rebuild, they came out here and they logged all the redwoods out of here. Um, all the old growth, the big ones. And when they did that, they went ahead and let Walter stay. Yeah, real funny! Real <laughs> funny! Trying to teach people. <laughs> uh, so, Walter, um, they let Walter stay because of that, that big burl. That's called a burl, or more known as like a knot in yeah. a tree. You know, that's a knot. It's a really big one. Um, cool thing about Walter is he's got, you see how his roots have been cut through when the road was put in? Oh. Um, this road was cut back in 1906, and when they did that, Walter started to lean, so he grew four new trees out of his trunk system. You can see three from here, but there's actually four back there um, that he grew out of his root system to hold him down. Um, Walter, he's 800 years old and about 180 feet tall. Uh, he's been struck by lightning, so the top of him is dead, what? so he'll only grow out now. He won't ever grow any taller. Um, you can see he's black on the outside. That's because he's been through a forest fire. And redwoods are fire retardant, which means they have this acidic acid in their bark that let them just smolder. They'll only do that. They won't ever, like, ignite. Um, so you'll see a lot of redwoods like this trunk down here. See how the inside's burnt out, but they, the outside's not? Yeah. It's because the outside's pretty much fire resistant. So. Um, there's a few redwoods around the state, but the insides are actually burnt out, and it's just a hollow redwood. There's one over there that you can go climb underneath and look up, and it's a hollow redwood, you know? You can't see the top because it's all black, but it goes pretty high. Um, once we step out on the bridge, look up at the top of Walter, add 20 feet to that, and that's how high you were on that third zip line. Oh, kinda wow. Give you, yeah, kind of give you an idea of actually how high you were. A um, little bit of a perspective. Would be nice. Because when you look down from 200 feet, I mean, you're, you're looking down at dirt. There's yeah. not really ever any people down there to give you size and how high you really are. Um, so looking from down here up will kind of really mm -hmm. shine some light. Why? why they choose the name Walter? Is there a reason why that um, is behind Walter? Because there is a tree, there's a redwood in Northern California that is named after a general. And the general's son's name was Walter, so they went with Walter. Okay. Yeah. Can I ride down this thing? You know what? I tried that this morning. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just smacked my ass so hard. Oh. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> Yo, let's check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I dropped into it. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I take you down? Yeah, no, no. you <laughs> No more goofing around. That's how people get hurt. <laughs> hey, hey. You're just mad because we're having fun. <laughs> I think we're fucking tangled up here. <laughs> All right, never mind. Ow. Let's see how many other people I can pull away from here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happens if the wind blows. I'm not going to do it, though. Yes. I just walked through him like, <laughs> keep going, oh, wow. I'm trying to check out the view, got strangled by a freaking, <laughs> by my lanyard, wow. alright take a look up, add 20 feet, oh, what, damn, <laughs> hanging from a cable and some wood, <laughs> <laughs> I think about that when I get home, I'm like, man, I'll just chew in a harness and like a cable, <laughs> what am I thinking, <laughs> <laughs> Get lost on the course. Sorry. <laughs> so loud. Entire time, there's nowhere you can go, but we can't really stop trees from falling, so I yeah. can. 
I'm not talking about the ones we're in, okay? Oh. Redwoods don't really fall over. I've never seen one fall over. I was going to say, I've never there. seen a redwood no, fall over. That's why we're zipping in the redwoods and not the tan oaks. <laughs> That's, uh, that's a tan oak. <laughs> yeah, that's a tan oak. They get sick very easily and then just fall over. So. It's just because of our, our lame jokes. That's probably true, yeah. Just gave up on life. I was telling this group that this used to be our last dip over to that tree. You can still see the old bolts over there. It was kind of puny. You guys are experts now. You don't want a 100 foot zip to end the course. You want 327 feet, the second longest zip, and right through the branches, which is pretty awesome. So, unfortunately, it is our last zip of the day. Mm. But it takes us over to our first repel. Yay. Our well, only oh. repel. <laughs> Alright, you know? let's try these. It's the end of the lines, folks. <laughs> but we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> okay. okay. Right, good <laughs> but see, I like yours. Like, I mean, those ones are... Aww. Yay! <laughs> remember everything we discussed about repelling at ground school. Um, <laughs> it should go pretty smoothly if you did. Oh. <laughs> Alexis, I didn't tell him. You didn't tell him? <laughs> you know what, we're going to wing it. Um, we don't have much time. I'm hungry, Dylan's hungry, so we'll just wing it. I'm kidding. No, we'll go over it. No, we'll go over it when we get over there. Um, just remember we are still zip lining relevant to break behind the trolley with your hand, not your teeth, not your feet. This is where people get creative, so don't. Don't punch yourself and, in the face. Yeah. <laughs> I'll really. never forget that. And the group behind us just finished the 800 foot line. They're to the right, so if you want to yell something at them, go for it. They're not our group. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's you. Oh, okay. It's log. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're just, you're just one person attention, huh? <laughs> Hi there. Uh, I like long walks on the beach. Uh, sand between my toes. Yeah. Hi. Come on. Okay. Quit goofing around. It's time to be serious. I was kidding about the serious part. Come on, little one. Okay. Right. Left. Left. Right. Left. Hokey pokey. Woo! there for just a second. Okay. Ooh. All right, go ahead and step on down. Oh, Check this out. Huh. Come you over to that me? side? <laughs> Probably. Oh. <sighs> what did you get me into? I like into? that little piece. What did you get me into? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just looked at. I was like, oh, no elevator. <laughs> That's it, buddy. I uh, know, uh, what? What <laughs> not is this? <laughs> I don't even look right. I think an amateur here today. This is wrong.
He's still nervous. There we go. Yeah. Can you escape already? Yeah, bring him on. Can you? There's a call in a second with it, right? Call in. Let's say I'm sick. I don't even talk about tomorrow, I was going to tell late. Yeah, I'll just say I'm sick today and tomorrow. Right? Yeah. What should I say? Should I say I'm sick? Or? I'll talk about it after. No. Oh, no. Go ahead and step up front. We're a lot lower in them now. We were at the very top on those two out there, so that's why we're walking back and forth. You guys do it in the rain, too, huh? That would be fun. I want to come out the rain, yeah. I think I'm going to sign up for the rain one. That sounds like it would be tight. <laughs> That'd be dope. It'd be hella soggy by the end. Let's wear some water shoes. That'd be like three, four months that we wouldn't run if we didn't go in the rain. It's a rainforest, actually. Not like the monkey time. Last year we got a hundred inches of rain, I think, in the Yeah. Glad you clarified about the monkey. I know. Well, some of them, like, you know, the zip lines actually got started in South America and Mexico. And so they are in the tropical rainforest. Why well, would she go in Mexico? If, the, if there's a monkey on the line, do you, like, call out, hey, monkey, <laughs> like, I'm coming in. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, here she comes, are you ready? I'm sending her. <laughs> Felt like there was an airplane kickoff or something. <laughs> Okay, that was that was pretty good actually. <laughs> <laughs> 